tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, today I want to talk about points. Points in space. I selected three points on this surface. It's a mesh, it's a polygon surface, and I just want to get closer to the points. And now have a look. Do the points get bigger? No, they don't. Because they're abstract, they don't render. You render the faces, these things here, the grey ones, but not the points. The points are the central units which span uh, around these faces, so they're crucial, but they're a mathematical description of positions in space, and they eventually lead to rendering surfaces. And you never render points in space. Now let's create a new scene, and I want to tell you how to create geometry from these little dots. New scene. Don't save. There is no tool under create to create points, but you can create locators, which are not renderable either. They just sit in space. Let's create a locator which lands in the center of the scene. It's this object here. Now uh, with the key control D we duplicate it and we move the second locator just a little bit up and to the back and now we duplicate it again move it to the front and slightly up and maybe over here and we duplicate it again and this is the fourth and final one very good for demonstration reasons really okay so we have four locators they are not points in space but now how do we get there to create a plane or a surface? Well, first attempt we can do is this. Let's go to Curves and Surfaces. Let's double click this icon here. It's the Curve Creation Tool. And uh, change the Curve Degree to 1. The reason is, and I covered this in another tutorial, that uh, the uh, Curve Degree 1 means straight lines as opposed to curved lines. So let's do this and now we need snapping. You see the snapping tools here and the keyboard shortcut to snap anywhere in space is the key V as in verb. So I press and hold V it's this icon which I can toggle on and off. I just press and hold the key V and I click here. So I s place the first point on the first locator. Second one here, point snapping. And now I'm done. I have a curve consisting of, well, it makes the connections between the three locators. When I move the locators, the curves will stay in place because they have no connection to the locators. I just use the locators in order to show where they are. Now how do we get from here to a surface? A typical approach would be go into when you're under modeling surfaces and create a planar surface. But as you can see it is not planar. So when we invoke the planar command we get an error message. It cannot create a planar surface. It does try to create a planar trimmed surface which lands here but it just doesn't do anything. We don't see it because it doesn't work so we can delete it. Now I'll hide the curve because I'll show you another tool which creates a nice surface. Mesh tools. And in the mesh tools I have create polygon. And create polygon just works very simply and very effectively. So let's m briefly meditate. You need to go to modeling here then to mesh tools and then to create polygon. And uh, click to place each vertex and to finish press enter. Okay, we do the same thing as before. We press and hold the key V and we start here for example. So just to make sure that the point is placed properly here, it is. Now let's uh, click and 
here with the key V pressed and again here and you already see we're spanning a surface and I think we're done so we press enter now we have a polygon surface here it's very odd because and it will cause problems when you UV it when you texture it because it has nothing here we need basically an intersection here but we can smooth it and we go to mesh and here we have smooth and already now we have quite an interesting subdivision here and when we raise this divisions section here from one to say two we get a nice surface and of course this surface renders nicely and it connects exactly these four locators which won't be rendered so we have a nice surface for rendering now can we convert this into a NURBS curve for example for industrial design yes we can you go to modify and convert you see you can convert NURBS to polygons but not polygons to NURBS so we need to go from polygons to subdivisions as an intermediate object the subdivision object and then subdivision to NURBS so let's do this polygon to subdivision creates this object here it's it's uh, the world between meshes polygon objects that is and NURBS surfaces renders okay no problem and now we go, go to modify again convert and now we converting the subdivision to a NURBS surface and it turns green because it has a problem with shading but we can apply a nice shader create a new material and we create an Arnold standard surface shader and you already see how nice this object looks and since it's a NURBS surface you can apply all the nice NURBS deformers here and I mean this is just a wonderful surface which asks me desperately to get a nice lighting situation and render bye bye